Now we want to share the purpose of the call. This is only the logical thing to do when you end up on the phone with someone is to share with them why you're calling them or what you're calling to talk to them about. And so if you follow your natural instincts, you're a salesperson, you're trying to sell something and you want to talk about your product. That's really the purpose of your call, right? You're a salesperson, they're a prospect. If you really truly want to actually share the honest answer of the purpose of the call or if honestly answering when they say, what is this in regards to, you might say something like, well, I'm calling to introduce myself. I'm calling to introduce our company. I'm calling to schedule an appointment or meeting with you or the prospect. I'm calling to learn about your needs. I'm calling to share details about what we provide to see if it's something you need. I'm calling to see if you need what I sell, basically. So that's actually the honest answer. And and, you know, if you're a salesperson and you're in product selling mode, you might not have a lot of regret or feel a lot of shame about saying any of those as the purpose of your call. But I would recommend to not say anything close to any of those. And the reason why is because any of those will make you sound like you're a salesperson that's trying to sell something. And the other thing that's wrong with all of those is that if you go back to the core concepts that we talked about in chapter two, we are all humans and we all care about our own stuff the most. And with that, we want to make the cold call more about the prospect stuff than our stuff. All of these reasons for the call are all about the salesperson's interest. This makes the call all about the salesperson, which the prospect will not have a lot of interest in or care much about. We want to make the purpose of the call more about the prospect. Now, the smart sales system is going to try to minimize how much you sound like a salesperson trying to sell something. We're not going to use any trickery here. While we don't want you to say any of those, and those are the reasons for the call, we're going to shine the purpose of the call under the best light, and we're going to spin it the best. So I'm going to give you three ways to explain the purpose of the call, and you can basically use the building blocks that you came up with in a previous chapter. As we go through these steps, I'm going to use the same example that we've used in previous chapters and videos, which is selling web design. So we're just using that script and that sales message and those building blocks to fill up this process. You said, have I caught you in the middle of anything? And they said, I know I'm fine. Or what is this in regards to? Well, the reason for my call is we help small businesses to increase the revenue generated through their website, improve website conversion rates, and increase website traffic. That's the reason for the call. Now, that's twist, of course, that you would sell something in order to deliver those benefits, but that's shining what you're trying to accomplish here in the best light. And it's not manipulative or dishonest in in any way. And it's minimizing how much you sound like a salesperson trying to sell something. Let me give you a couple options here. You could use your pain points building block, which is instead of sharing improvements, you're sharing problems that you help to fix. And so that might look like, well, the reason for the call is we work with small businesses and they often and have a need to generate more revenue through their website. Website visitors aren't converting and they need to increase website traffic. Or you can use your name drop building block, which is great. The reason for my call is we worked with an accounting firm and helped them to improve how they told their story of what they do through their website. After only six months, they increased their number of leads by 500% and increased their overall revenue by 20%. So three options there. You'd only use one of those, but those are that's your value points block, your pain points block, or your name drop block, and you can just plug any of those in for the reason why you're calling. And it is the reason why you're calling. You help in that way, and that's why you're calling to see if they need your help. 